Okay, so I'm just going to do a very quick uh, demonstration on how to get this media player up and running in order for you guys to view the streaming downloads that I have set up online. I'm still in the process of trying to stream it directly from the website, but it's a little bit complicated. So um, for the sake of getting you guys this information as soon as possible, we shall go this way. Um, I'll send you a link uh, that will allow you to download this file right here. And then basically you are going to run it, select it in English, next. Uh, what you would want to do is come in here and for audio files, you basically, if you have like iTunes or if you have Windows Media Player or whatever you have that's, uh, whatever application you're currently using that you want to keep running your music, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, Come in here and turn off MP3, turn off WAV, turn off WMA, and that should probably be uh, about all that you guys will need to do. The video files and stuff you can actually pop into as well. Um, if you want, you can probably turn off MOV, MP4, MPEG, and what else do we want to do here? WMV. We want to keep AVI because that's the field that we're going to be looking at. Actually, we want to keep FLV as well. Uh, so that should probably do it. That being said, this is actually a really good uh, program to use for watching video and stuff. But I mean, iTunes is already there. So tweak that however you want. But leave the uh, FLV checked in the video up here, do, 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 FLV, leave that one checked in the video and uh, leave the ABI checked and the rest should be good. So just install this wherever you want. Obviously you need 1.3 gigs of, uh, or sorry, you need uh, 62 megs of space. And after this installs, I'll just uh, show you how you can set up the uh, this VLC media player to stream information directly from the website because I've uploaded all these tutorials there and as I mentioned I'm just in the process of trying to figure out how to stream them directly but this way uh, if you tweak this media player the way that I'm going to show you you will be able to stream stuff rather than wait for it to download so it's just it's ultimately just a little bit quicker you don't have to sit there in front of your computer and wait for wait for things to download in their entirety before you end up playing them. So once this starts running, which I suspect it's going to, there we go. This one you can just basically click straight through on and then go into media and then go into streaming and then come up here to, let's see, network protocol is this HTTP and again, that's just the start of your typical web address. And then the, the links to the URLs that I'm going to send you guys, you'll just basically plop right in here. So www.sparasilva.ca forward slash assets forward slash flash forward slash vegsmart underscore tutorial underscore one dot fl. So there you go, www.ferrisilva.ca forward slash assets slash flash slash vegsmart tutorial one. Basically this chunk of information right here is what's gonna be changing within the seven videos that I uh, send you. So basically follow this process through, click on this and then hit stream. Uh, and then we have to come in here. Um, basically you can just go to FLV, click on that profile. Um, I did this earlier, play locally, and then those are, should be the only two that you really need to do. And then hit stream, and it should start playing. And you can, um, I'm just going to mute this just in case you guys can't hear me. Um, you can jump forward and backwards on this. It does take a little while to seek to the point in the file, but ultimately, this is basically what you'll end up doing. Just watch this video here. And uh, if you have any problems, basically just uh, shoot me an email and I'll let me know and I'll
else for everything away from you. 